Hey everyone, welcome back. It is I, Borkmort, back at it again. Uh, last time, I believe, that, yeah, last time, we ate Muscovy. And now Novgorod is taking their turn to have another bite. Um, I wonder what you need to make Russia. Can Novgorod create Russia if Muscovy still exists? These are the questions that keep me up at night. Hmm. But also, hey, Perm! Hmm. Forced religion? Fair. Economic to 2.1. Oh, the joint stock exchange. I'll take that 15 years of, of money. And trade and money. And trading with money. Uh, I was thinking about, I believe, conquering actually someone. I could probably eat the Pacifico Norte. I'm, I'm helping you out with religion. There we are. Now we're gaining more innovation. Uh, I'm not going to have super innovation. At least I'm unlikely to. Uh, but a little bit of innovation. Certainly, I don't object. Slowly progressing. Industrialized quickly. It's spreading everywhere I've got. Taxes up 50%. I'll take it over time. That usually gives you more than the other option would. Mamluk armies. Unexpected. Though I do recall the Mamluks more successful in this era. Uh, but with the Ottomans failing to be anything impressive. Mm. What is France left with anyways? Oh my. Where is the capital of France now? <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Terribly amusing. <laughs>
Yes, I think it's time to eat a little more. See, I'm helping. I'm helping you. Oh, there we go. Tech level 28. Well, we're also in our golden age, as you can tell by the bling. So I kind of want to mostly knock uh, Anilco out of things, so I can focus on eating the others. I mean, I wouldn't want to convert these provinces, so I'd better, uh... I'd better flip them. So I guess I will take this chunk for myself, and the rest I am willing to feed to my vassal. conflicts in France. Yeah. I'm not too concerned about their so-called little internal conflicts, honestly. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can line up that bonus, that siege bonus. It is at eight. Oh, there we go. See? 24 artillery, plus a bonus. Oh. No, I'll take my stability. Thank you, game. Stability. Oh, I guess I gotta do something to calm the nobility. They want Limsa to have five base manpower. They love me now. So we're gonna have a big throwdown. Looks like I've got the numbers. Indeed, I did. Hey you, 
Just want to maybe get out of the war. Maybe give me some cash. So they're out of the war. Mm -hmm. Which uh, I think you can all guess means things will go very poorly now for the rest of them. Five six two queen, excellent. There you go, there, and you go there. That should give me everything. And that'll be beside New Portugal. Another little colonial nation. I may be handing off to my vassals. Alright, I'm gonna make a new uh great template. Forty shooty boys. First things first, I want to hand off some land to good old Guamer. The Texas Plains can go to them. This little part of West Florida also can go to them. The Southern Plains should belong to me. And the Obuzarks can belong to me. Yeah, yeah, that seems like it's a good plan. So first of all, hey buddy, how about we make a deal for peace where you give me It's okay. You give me that. And then you. Give me that. Glorious. Looks like we keep him. Nearby. More manufactorums, please, game. So now I'm excuse to go to war with Novgorod, but they're an ally of Austria. That is a shame, as I too am an ally of Austria's. Hmm. And I wanted to feed Novgorod. Well, 
Depending on what they take, maybe I'll take this Kazan territory. Oh, what the? The metropolitan city of Kazan. Hmm. Oh, research is nice. Take that. Ten percent cheaper cost on uh, embracing technology. Useful. Uh, what? Let's let's migrate over here. on tech anyways. Ooh, not bad. 9.6. So just need a few more to finish uh, making the flip. Well, like around here. There's only one trade node in the Amazon. It's, it's very strange. We will add a world port there. Bonambuco. Don't worry, Perm buddy. I've got your back. Hmm. Pity. Pity. Let's see. Coal, iron, and copper ones are more likely to get industrialization events. Go to the atmospheric engine. Okay. Very neat, very nice. Mm. Of course, I'm building a navy right now as well. Grand, thank you, game. Uh, seven points to the you know what? Uh, 
Uh, three per month, so we're looking at six months. I, I think I can let that one go. I'm going to get so much money. So the question starts, yeah. So part of why I'm building an, a, na a new navy, right? Is I kind of want to conquer the Caribbean. Which will do a great job at weakening Spain. It'll do a great job at weakening Spain. It'll increase my income nicely. And I'll get some uh, some provinces that have, have good development and have already embraced the institution. of course colonial nations who've had a while to actually you know develop themselves so I kind of need to take put a little bit more into their into their destruction There, Perm. I, I took down that province for... Yeah, let's, let's, let's siege it back, too. I'll do the whole shebang for them. Oh, Novgorod can! So we finally have Russia. Russia exists. I think this is the first time I've seen the AI via Novgorod create Russia. So well played on them. And then my good buddy, my good buddy Austria. Austria's military looking like these days. Nearly 300,000 troops. Very respectable. 154 ships. Not bad, too. Certainly, certainly nothing to sneeze at. Did you take the Russian ideas? You did. Better artillery. You can have more troops. You can have more legitimacy. Better morale. Better shooty. All right.
Not a bad set of traits, all things put together. See, I'm doing what I can to help you keep your religion under control, but yes. actually, I guess you're doing it. You're spreading the faith. Let's take a little break here. We'll come back shortly. Oh, look at Korea. That's where we're at. Muscovy. Dally being big. Interesting. We'll come back soon.